Terence, do not bleed for Sinus, bellt Darion. Terence, do not bleed for Sinus. It's a simple truth known far and wide within the galaxy, and one few bothered to question. The primatial species that established itself as a new power in relatively recent times, but preferred to keep out of the affairs of the wider galaxy. It was difficult to understand at first. The theories ranging from a widespread punker complex to the leaders being subject to the whims and wishes of the subjects. Whatever the case, it became an ingrained truth of the diplomatic world that should you find yourself in war, don't bother turning to the Terrans, for they will not send meaningful aid. Diplomatic and economic sanctions, for sure. War material, for a price. But troops? No. Terrans do not bleed for Sinus. It suited us well. We had the honor of being the species' first contact, and the isolationist and neutral policies have allowed us to keep friendly relations ever since without issue. In return, they've proven to be valuable trading partners, diplomatic allies, and dear friends. But then, war came to our doorstep. That the Rwandans had been on a campaign of war and conquest, and we were next on the list of targets to annex. What could we do compared to the Rwandan? We are small, weak, and even our most optimistic predictions guaranteed defeat and the death of billions. But the ultimatum came, and the rotation we were given to the site was the longest in our history. We are set to surrender until word came from a Terran diplomat housed at a local embassy. Terra will guarantee our independence. Shock ravaged our system. We had not asked for assistance, nor did we expect it. Yet, he had was promised. Perhaps they knew that they were next after us. Still, doubt gripped our thoughts. For how could we be sure this was no more than a paper shield? A bluff by Terra? To save face on the galactic stage? After all, Terrans do not bleed for Sinus. If nothing else, the announcement gave the random pause for thought and gave us time to convene and consider our options. Terran assistance will give us a chance, enough perhaps to fight the Randans to a standstill and sue for a white peace. Was it hope for our people? or only that of a fool. The new deadline ended, and an answer was demanded. We gazed at the Durandan at our front. We looked at terror at our back. Only one answer could be given. No. As threatened, Durandan declared war upon us. And as promised, terror declared war upon Durandan. When news broke that the Terrans had kept their word, We are filled with the determination of heroes of old. But Terra is a slow Leviathan, and it needed time to mobilize. The early stages of the war were hard on our people. Our cities ruined, our planets ravaged, and our people killed. We fought alone all the same, hoping that Terra would soon arrive. And they did. Thousands at first, token expeditionary forces to prove their commitment and to boost our morale. They weren't nearly enough to turn the tide, but they breed them hard there on terror, and every one of them fought with the strength and ferocity of ten Turandans, and for the first time ever, Terrans bled for Sinus. The more of our territories fell, the more Terrans joined the fight. Soon enough, no more worlds fell before the Durandan march. No more cities were taken. Not one inch more was given. It was now our turn. Together with terror, we struck back at the Durandan forces, rooting them out from our territories with the ferocity and swiftness of ancient gods of war. Terrans gave us ships, and we took back our worlds. We charged enemy lines, and Terrans charged with us. 
We shielded terror from Durandan, and terror gave us vengeance in return. In the fires of war, we were forged in the one and together. We taught Durandan fear. By the time the war had ended, we declaimed all we had lost and more before forcing Durandan to sign a peace on our terms. If our friendship with Terra was strong before, it is vowed in perpetuity now, and the galaxy has learned the full truth. Terrans do not bleed for Sinus, but they will die for brothers. And with this concludes the data entry 253221 called Terrans do not bleed for Sinus, written by Eldarion. You can find the link to the origin below and support the awesome author. And lastly, Today there's no fun fact. As you may know there were some recent actions in Ukraine and the Ukrainian people need support. I don't want to get political and so I only say we the people can do something about it. Not in the sense of proactively going to protests, no, rather donating small amounts of money to some humanitarian organizations like the Ukrainian Red Cross. In the video description there's a link to the Ukrainian Red Cross where you can donate small amounts of money and every penny helps. If not, then that's still okay. I wish you good health and stay healthy sentient beings. Bye.